Okay, here's some underwater goodness for you. And um, this isn't just something cool to see. This is something cool for us to discuss. And that's what I love about these videos and throwing this platform out there because you guys give me your feedback. You guys tell me what you think. And this one has me puzzled. It's maybe changed the way I think about something that I've thought of one way my entire life. All of us, doesn't matter what you fish for, bass, pike, musky, walleye, trout, bluegill, carp, all that stuff. All of us have at some point seen two fish come together head to head. And you you know, a lot of times you go to big fish fisheries, you know, Mexico and stuff like that. You'll see two fish and, and they actually die. You know, the one is lodged in the other's mouth and they die. And my whole life, people told me things like, the fish don't realize their size. They can't perceive size like humans can. So when they see food, they see another bait fish, they don't perceive its size. And next thing they know, one of their faces is lodged in the other's mouth. They get stuck together and one or both of them end up dying because they can't perceive size. And that's how I thought forever. And I've seen this happen several times. I've caught I found crappie that are together. I found bass that are together. And I mean, Google images, they're all over the internet of two fish lodged in each other. And I always thought it was about size perception. But this clip maybe changed my mind. And I posted this as a short a few months ago. But let me know what's going on here. You see both of these fish, maybe they do perceive size. This is basically a feeding frenzy where they're both chasing after the same bait fish and one becomes lodged in the other. The ultimate battle of largemouth versus smallmouth. I'm not sure who won this battle, but does it change the way you think about two fish being lodged together? Maybe it's just because they're in the middle of a feeding frenzy and a largemouth opens its mouth and <coughs> in this case, a smallmouth comes in there and <coughs> Kind of screws it up for them. But the good news is, as you saw, they both swam away. They both were happy. And I'm happy. I'd like to hear what you guys think about this. Is my theory right? Do fish not perceive size like people have told you in the past? Or is this just happening as a result of a feeding frenzy? Which kind of makes sense when you think of a lot of the lakes you see it on. Those abundant Mexican lakes. You know, um, Chad spawn areas. You see a lot of those abundant feeding frenzy areas where they're lodged together. Did we crack a code together? I don't know. You let me know. Pretty cool clip regardless. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of underwater goodness, make sure you like and comment. And hey, why not make our relationship official and subscribe?